providing an update collaboration with PJ Thriving and other collaborators. I think that I really don't know my this one. Just broke me a lot harder than me. This is Frugal Mama of Boys, and I'm so glad that you clicked on this video. I am providing an update of the Hoptober Challenge, Jump Rope Challenge. And this is in co coordination and collaboration with PJ Thriving and other collaborators who are trying to get in shape, tone up, lose weight, have fun, do it all. So we have measurements we're going by measurements so i'm going to do the measurements but i think that i really don't know where my hips are so i'm hoping i'm getting it right because i haven't been measuring that measuring that in the past but let me tell you all jump roping is a lot harder than it than it seems you know like how hard can jumping be but it was it, it deemed to be a challenge or it proved to be a challenge nevertheless not drill on the past I'm going to be perfectly honest with you all. I did not start jumping until Friday. Let me tell you, when everything came up, everything came up. My son got a bead stuck in his ear, had to go to urgent care. I had a class on Tuesday. It was just, the week has just been insane. However, on Friday, I think I jumped for about an hour. On Saturday, 20 or 30 minutes. I can't remember because I was so tired. I kept stopping, but I tried, I tried, I tried, I tried, and you know, jumping today. So it's all good. I'm a little bit probably behind the curve of other uh, collaborators, but it's not about that totally to me. It's about, I really just enjoy it. I've enjoyed it. And you can tell that your arms will tone up. I want to give me a heavier weight though. So I'll do that after this. Anyway. I'm blabbering. Let me do my measure challenge first. So if you want to tune out after that, that's fine. So waist. On October 1st, my waist was 35 inches. And today it is 32. I believe that this is my hip. Like I said, I, this is my first time actually having this measurement. So I know that when it comes to the challenge, I'm probably, am I right? What does it say? 37 and a half. If that's the right spot. If I'm not in the right spot, somebody tell me. Okay, and left thigh. Okay, I know she said the biggest part of your thigh. And that's what I normally, this is where I normally am, I think. Pretty much sure, yeah. 22. 22, 22. Okay, so left thigh, left thigh. 22. Okay, so when I started October 1st, my thigh was 22, and it's still 22, and waist was 35, and now it's 32, so three inches, and my hips, I didn't have a measurement because I didn't measure the hips. I know if this is hips, I think it's where this bone is, so let me do it one more time and see if that's right, based on where this bone is. Thirty-five and a half. Thirty-five. I 
don't know. It's either 37 and a half or 35 and a half, depending on where I'm supposed to be measuring. Maybe I'll look it up later. Anyway, so that's it. I'm going to insert. Oh, I want to show you all something on my I'm picture. Proud of the activity that I have had. Let me see. I think I clicked this one. See more. Okay, activities for the week. So you can tell the significant, I don't know what I did on Tuesday. I know, I don't know what I did. I may have jumped, I don't remember, but anyway. But look at Friday and Saturday. Boom, but distance, okay, here. And so you can tell on the 10th, which was, what's the day, the 12th? Which was Friday. I see I did uh, an hour. This just goes in consistent duration. Like you keep moving. See, I burned 340 calories. I, I'm proud of that. So I hope you all can see this. 340, 133 bum, 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 bum. steps. This is only steps during um, your work. Check out these TV shoes. My toe is still swollen, so 